We're going to talk about the spring brake relay valve, SR1, spring brake relay valve. Uh, this valve is designed to um, be used during emergencies. When you lose the air to your rear brakes or primary circuit, basically what this valve does is it senses that there's no air pressure in your primary tank and because we have a connection to the secondary delivery port in the treadle valve for your front brakes, we use our front brake air pressure in the event that we lose our rear air, our primary circuit, to release air through this valve, through the exhaust port of this valve, to allow about to maybe five emergency brake applications using the spring brake or parking brake. So they just release air out of the parking brake uh, via the secondary treadle valve to the SR1 spring brake valve and uh, it uses the energy in the spring to give us some emergency brake applications. So in connecting this valve it's quite simple. We have a supply port here the supply port is connected to the yellow dash button and so when you push on the driver pushes on the yellow dash button air is sent to the supply port of the SR1 spring brake relay valve provided we have a signal from our primary air reservoir so there's air in the primary tank then the valving inside here <coughs> will move the piston down to open up this passage to allow air from the supply port from our push-pull valve to be sent through the delivery port which then goes to the hold off section in our maxi brake or parking brake section. So now our uh, air is uh, allowed to hold off the spring when the yellow dash button is pushed in. This connection down here is connected to the secondary delivery port on the treadle valve. Now it just dead ends there as long as we have air in the primary tank. If we don't have air in the primary tank, what happens is air that's being sent to your front brakes is also rooted to this valve and now with no air in here from the primary, the secondary signal can actually act on the valving inside here causing it to open the exhaust port based on how much pressure is being applied on the secondary uh, treadle valve circuit. They'll release a, a, a portion of the air through this SR1 spring brake valve which in turn allows air from the delivery to be open to atmosphere and the supply that's coming uh, into the valve to be shut off or closed off. So your yellow dash button's in, air just dead ends here, secondary air pushes on the valving inside here to open up the delivery port to open it to atmosphere and we release some of the air out of our maxi brake section of our parking brake and we use this uh, energy in the spring to make uh, probably four or five emergency brake applications depending on uh, how hard the driver steps on the treadle valve. Uh, these uh, uh, valves are going to be incorporated on all trucks uh, and buses and are quite often also incorporated on tractors as well although the tractor can use the trailer as, a, as an emergency uh, stopping device as well, so they may not have them. But typically they will have them on uh, most vehicles and will only be used in, in the event of uh, an emergency where you lose your primary uh, circuit air.